Well, January is National Slow Cooker Month, and earlier this week, the hip foodie mom showed us how to make dinner in the slow cooker. Yep, today Alice Choi is making dessert. She's making brownies from scratch in the slow cooker. So we are making slow cooker brownies. Um, so some people like gooey brownies, some people like cakey. The nice thing about the slow cooker is that you can, you can leave it really gooey and chocolatey, or you can cook it longer and make it cakey. So what I've done in here, um, you're, I, you're going from scratch here. It's no box of brownie mix. No box, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're doing it from scratch. So this is one stick of unsalted butter and eight ounces of bittersweet chocolate. And please use good quality chocolate. That is, that is my thing. I think that's the key. Do you have um, a favorite? I do. I like Ghirardelli. I like Ghirardelli chocolate. You want to microwave this in 30 second increments until it all melts together. Nice and creamy. And then after it's cooled, I'm going to add in three eggs. And then I'm, I am adding a cup of sugar. So remember, this is dessert. <laughs> a whole cup. Oh, it's the brownies. whole cup. It's brownies. Exactly. So you want to mix this together. And then we are going to add our dry ingredients, a cup and a quarter of all-purpose flour. This is a fourth cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. All right. Mix this together. And if I'm feeling overindulgent, <laughs> which I usually am when I'm making brownies. Me too. I also add in some more chocolate chips. And I like to mix up uh, semi-sweet and bittersweet and then peanut butter chips. Oh, wow. really? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> you had so me you, a peanut butter you chip. You mix this together, you add in your chips, you mix this all together. We want to make this easy to pull out. So I just line, I'm lining the crock pot with a piece of parchment paper. You tuck that in, and then after this is all mixed together, you just lay your batter inside. And then when it's done? And then when it's done, Voila, it'll look like this. You just pull it right yeah, out. Yeah, you just look pull it right that. out. Yeah. How long does it cook for? So these, I do like my brownies a little gooey. So these cook for um, on low for five hours. And then um, the last two hours, if you want it a little bit cakey, you can turn it up to high. Or if you want to keep it like gooey, you just do another two hours on low. So for about seven hours on low. And then when you take it out of the crock pot, you let it sit for a little bit. You, you do, you let it sit for two hours. That is a very good point because Otherwise, it, it's really gooey and it'll kind of fall, fall apart. But so you have to let it cool for about two hours. Have it with ice cream and yeah. Alice, Alice thanks. thank you so thank much. You. It looks delicious. Can't thank wait to dig so in. Yeah. And it was delicious. It really is delicious. The recipes for the slow cooker brownies, as well as Alice's recipes for pulled pork sandwiches and mashed potatoes in the slow cooker, are all at hipfoodiemom.com.